Hey, it's Justin Lewis with WOBM. I'm here at our studios in Tom's River with Eric Mason. Eric, you are a Jersey Shore local, grew up in Brielle. I met you a couple weeks ago at Jenkinson's in Point Pleasant Beach. They were having a dog adoption event. You were there playing your music. Tell me a little bit about, let's start with the music. How did you get from a kid growing up in Brielle to a, a musician? Well, I started playing piano when I was probably five or six years old. and. Um, I've been performing on stage ever since then, uh, and only re really recently did I start songwriting. Um, it wasn't until my freshman year of college when I really started finishing songs and finding the groove of songwriting. Um, and I always dreamed of being on stage and like you know, you know, dreamed of like what it would be like to be in front of a huge crowd of fans and stuff. So, uh, but I always kind of suppressed that, you know, just thinking, oh, you know, it's like um, I should get a you know get a real job right. or something, like, you know, get into the real world, but. It wasn't until college when I started actually finishing songs and sort of finding myself as a songwriter and, and musician that... Um, kind of like, hey, I can yeah, do this. Yeah, it was like, this yeah. is not only can I do this, but also I really, really want to. Um, and so it kind of took off from there, you know? Nice. Yeah. So at the event uh, at Jenks, it was a dog adoption event, yeah. and you were there, again, uh, performing some songs in between doing the stuff with the dogs. What got you kind of into that SPCA Humane Society groove there? Yeah. So, I mean... Where I've been, the experiences I've I've lived, um, I I just, I've formed this sort of um, passion for helping others, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it starts with animals. Everyone everyone really loves animals, and there's so many uh, you know help helpless uh, animals in need out there. Um, I think it's a representation representation of society in general, just like the need the need we have in society. So helping dogs out is is a great first step to. Right. Um, and, and we were talking when we were there about uh, my dog, Sydney, yeah. who I adopted her when she was six years old. I got her from a shelter that found her as a stray. People on WOBM.com can read all about Sydney and see lots of pictures. Uh, so yeah, she was six years old. And people go to shelters, nobody, nobody wants the older dog. Yeah, the elder dog. Yeah, you know? and I never had a dog before. So I was like, she's, she's trained. Mm -hmm. You know, she she goes to the bathroom outside. This like the hard work is already done, and yeah. she just honestly like became my best friend. Oh gosh! And uh, you know, I really tried to become an advocate for people adopting senior dogs. Absolutely. Especially if you've never had a dog before, because exactly. you're not having to train them. Yeah, I mean, you know, we I adopted a dog, our dog Stanley, who recently passed away, um, from the Humane Society of New York, which is a nonprofit in Manhattan, uh, and he was 12 when we got him. Um, and he'd been living on the streets. Uh, in uh, Upper Manhattan for a year before they found him. So he lived and, a life. Yeah, he yeah. lived a life. Yeah, he had a previous home and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but they found him, cleaned him up, and uh, got on the adoption floor. Um, and uh, yeah, the thing is, they they have so many experiences from their past right. that you know, they, they just want to have a home for the last few years of their life. Right, and, right. You know, like it's you know, it's not. He was, you know, he was, he was he's so funny. He was like blind and like kind of deaf and like, you know, he had a lot of problems, but he was so sweet. Yeah. Uh, and we were happy to give him a home for like the last three or four years of yeah, his life. Yeah, you know? they really are the best kinds of dogs. Absolutely. Because like, yeah. they're just happy to, yeah. you know, get the hugs and have somewhere warm to sleep. Exactly. So now, coming back to your music, you are using your music as a way to raise awareness Absolutely. of things like this. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about that. You had a show in New York City. Yeah, so my first show at, uh, at Pianos in New York City, Lower East Side, uh, was a benefit show for uh, the Humane Society of New York. And basically everyone who showed up, I donated personally $8 to them. Uh, it was great. We had a great first showing. We raised over $200. Um, and it started something special for the summer for sure. Um, but my next shows um, are at the Bitter End, which is in uh, also, Greenwich yeah. Village. Yeah, okay. in, in Greenwich Village. And uh, then I have three shows down here, which I'm partnering up with uh, three organizations, the Monmouth County SPCA, Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Monmouth and Middlesex Counties, nice. and Food Stock, New Jersey. Awesome. So uh, all the benefit, all the proceeds, uh, net proceeds from our concerts down here will be going to them. And I want to mention, so your show that you did at Pianos in New York City on the Lower East Side, that was your first show. Yeah, that like, was yeah. talk about pressure. Oh gosh, like, we're gonna put you in New York City. You're gonna do a show. I mean, yeah, like this, that, that's kind of how it's been this whole year for me. Um, it's kind of finding finding things out my, by myself. Um, I hadn't been on stage with a band playing like real, you know, playing rock music since like high school. Yeah, which but like that's not really that far for me. But you know, uh, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> um, but. Uh, 
freshman year, I think, was the last time I kind of played on stage with the Rocket program in, in Red Bank. Right, right. Um, and uh, it had been a while, but I was really looking forward to getting them back into it and had to get the band together um, and rehearse with them. And yeah, kind of everything came together at the first piano show and yeah. it really, really went well. I mean, and and really again, I, I really want to make a point that people know you are a local guy mm -hmm. from Brielle. Yep. You made this decision that I want to not only make music, but help these organizations that Absolutely. help others, help animals yeah. and things like that. And now you're recording songs and playing big stages. Yeah, it's happening, you know? Like, yeah. I, 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 I think it started, really it started this, this idea of, um, you know, taking time off from college and, and pursuing this full time. Started halfway through my sophomore year, which I guess was last, two, like a full year ago. And, uh, and yeah, like I, I help, had this desire to help others and this desire to pursue a music career. Well and I found together. a way to kind yeah. of combine them. And it's been all success, really successful so far. Nice. So. so we're talking here, this is the Tuesday after Memorial Day weekend, because I know people will be watching this mm -hmm. in the future. Uh, so right now, what are the upcoming shows that people can see at? Yeah, so if you live in New York or North Jersey, you live in the area uh, up there, I'm playing at the Bitter End uh, on June 5th at 9 p.m. Uh, that's in the, on Gran Greenwich Village on Bleecker Street. Uh, and that's going to be a benefit concert for the Humane Society of New York as well. All ticket sales will be going to them. Uh, and then down here, I'm kind of bringing the tour down to the Jersey Shore. Um, we got the first show is uh, The Saint. At, right. The Saint at Thursday, nice. uh, June 21st. That's in Asbury Park uh, at 10 p.m. Okay. And then we have a big show at the House of Independence. Mm -hmm. um, that's on July 5th. Uh, 8 p.m. That's going to be a big show. That's going to be a really yeah, big show. Fourth of July really weekend. Exciting. Yeah, yeah nice. really exciting. Um, and then our, my final show for the time being will be um, at the Beach House Brewery okay. in Belmar. That's at 7 p.m. That's awesome. So, That'll be kind yeah. of your hometown show. Yeah, I mean, and all the and all the proceeds from ticket sales and merchandise will be going to the three societies that I mentioned or organizations that I mentioned before. Nice. So, yeah. so people want to hear your music. Where can they find it? You can go everywhere, all streaming platforms, YouTube, uh, Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, all that stuff. Uh, I have CDs for sale at the show. I also have my website online, ericmasonmusic.com. It's Eric with a K. Eric with a K. That's, a, that's important, <laughs> yeah. But Mason's normal. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm all over the website, all over Instagram, Facebook, so check me out. Awesome. Yeah. And we're going to hear a song right now? Absolutely. All right, everybody, it's Eric Mason doing some local shows here at the Jersey Shore, doing some shows in New York. Check this guy out.